Oh, I actually see it. Hey. Ah, uh, it's episode 13. I thought it was 12, but it's not. Hey, yo, what's going on? This is try number 15, and I am your host, One Coast. Five. That is your other host, you. Fats. That is your guest host, Slim. Say what up, everybody. Yo, it's popping. It's goody. How's everybody living, yo? Yo, man. Well, we living. We living. That's a plus. I mean, it's a blessing every day I wake up and I'm still here and I'm still fat and, and everything like that. I feel great about it. I used to be fat. I remember when I first met you, you wasn't as I, slim yo, as you are now. When I met you, I absolutely was fat, as Penn would say. I was not a fat, I was not a slim dude at all. I was fat. <laughs> For real. I was like, why do they call this dude slim? He kind of fat. Well, but, that, but you have to understand, <laughs> standing next to me, Yo, he slim. Period. We were still, we were still a, no- we were still a number ten when I stood next exactly. to you. Exactly. Right? <laughs> as long as he was standing next to me, as long as he was standing next to me, he was good. You know what I'm saying? That name. Yeah, we started, we started looking like two infinity signs after a while. Though. <laughs> nah, you was never that fat. You, Bro, how, what? 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 Yo, on. how fat was you? How how heavy did you get? I mean, you're kind of tall too. So Bro, I was so fat. Pen called me fat. Wow. Shout Come out on. to Poison Pen. Shout if Pen calls you fat, it's official. Pen, yo, uh, fats. What did he say to you? What did he tell you? Well, I had another fat. I had a fat dude tell another fat dude I wasn't skinny. Come on, I was. Well, fat. <laughs> well. I mean, the story goes they was on a they was on a flight. Yes, yeah. They was on a flight, <laughs> and um, my partner had the the luxury of getting the bitch seat in the middle. I was riding bitch. I was riding bitch with pen and rest in peace, Arch. Oh, and my you know God. That, <laughs> you know, that was a mountain of a man as well. You know what I'm saying? So. Facts. That, that plane was leaner. Yeah. Facts. So, Facts. So, All right turn. So, so, so he was riding bitch on, this, on the flight. So as my partner put it to me, he was like, yo, it was spillage. It was spillage into his seat. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah, it was wow violation of borders and treaties on so, my, my 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 situation. So he yo. started throwing elbows, and that was like that was like the precursor to social distancing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he started throwing elbows. So he was like, "Yo, I had my elbow and pen ribs the whole flight." <laughs> <laughs> he was putting them under right. pressure. So he's my so, seat. Arch Arch fell asleep, so I really couldn't do nothing to Arch. Right. So, so I had to Penn had to catch all the strays. So what <laughs> so what happened was me and Penn had a conversation prior like after they landed or whatever, and he was like, yo, y- your man Slim is not a <laughs> slim nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that was the days when he was I ain't gonna hold you, man. We was in Norway and um you know, I'm, I'm yeah. You laughing? You hear that, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we in Norway, actually doing our set, right? So we on stage and we rocking out and everything. And it was like a lull in the action for me. And I just seen him standing there, and you know the light is on. In fact, he used that picture for his profile. Yeah, yeah all the time. He used that picture for his profile picture. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I was look. Yo, Phil. You you ever took a picture where you look like a superhero and you know that it ain't true, but you don't yeah. get a, one of those. It was one of those. It was one of those. Definitely. All of the pictures I post of myself are that, that picture. <laughs> so 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 like I I glanced over, you know, I'm looking at my partner. That's you know, best friend, partner, all that. You know what I'm saying? I was glanced over. I was like, yo, that's a big dude, son. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I, now <laughs> now mind you, mind you, I've been string bean McLean. <laughs> Like the whole time, me and Fats been rocking since like high school. Word. So word. when Fats say, "Oh, word, you've been doing push-ups now," I ah, fucked you up. <laughs> like he said that. <laughs> word up, it, and it's so funny because it's like you know you again like we knew each other since we was boys. So at the end of the day, it's like babies. Yeah, yeah babies, so we word. boys when we met. So it's like at the end of the day, when you when you turn over and you look, and you like yo. Damn, this thing got big, son. You know what I'm saying? But then, 
<laughs> years later, we post a picture together and we start getting disrespected. Oh, y'all look like, uh, uh, uh. remember that, son? Wow. <laughs> yo, yo, see, see, first of all, first of all, all you peoples out there, the whole, our whole 20s and most of our 30s, yo, you know, you got to watch your health, you know, black man, you got to watch what you eat, your diet, because of salt and hypertension and blood pressure and weight, and obesity Word. and blah, 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 right? Word. Cool. No doubt. Cool. You know, you get, you get, they play with you when you have the dad bar, you know, you got your little daddy belly, your beard gut, all, all right, cool. Me and my man both lost about. I know Fats, you lost a lot of, you know, you went on some yeah. weight loss situation. You was trying to lose right. weight. Me, I was just trying to get back to my old self. Yo, we slimmed down and got healthy. Yo, they disrespected us like, yo, you all right? <laughs> you all right? <laughs> you all right? You don't look good. You all right? You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo. Like we got the stick or something. Hey, yo, so on the set of, of, uh, on the set of even the score, right? So, you know, shout out to Bollock, shout out to Rocco and everybody in, in, in involved in it. So we get on the set, me and Bollock get on the set. I, I I arrived to the set last. So I come on the set and Phil looks me from head to toe. He's like, yo, what happened to you? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, yo, man, nah. He was like, nah, you losing too much weight. And if you get smaller than me, we're going to have a problem. I'm like, yo, what's really good with you, man? Hey. <laughs> yo, listen, listen. Fat, fats has that ability where everything he do, it make you feel like, damn, yo, damn, I, my shit ain't right. This motherfucker over here losing 200 pounds. <laughs> I'm sitting here, I'm sitting here getting fat. I was like, nah, 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 ain't going to work. Ain't going to work. Ain't going to work. But yeah, man. I mean, don't don't worry, cause Sean will be fatter than all three of us. Well, he is already. Is he? I I mean, who are you he talking just about? Bollock. What do you mean? The fat bits. <laughs> the bits. <laughs> Yo, my you know boy, the bits. People? You know how many people online? I, I, that boy, I posted that fucking clip of the movie, and this kid Voss got on there. He's like, "Wow, man, I never thought I'd see the day." Balik is actually fatter than you now. Hey yo, <laughs> hey yo, you know what's so funny? You know what's so funny? I meant to. I was gonna comment on that, and you know what I was gonna comment? I was like, the scene where we run, when we start running, you cannot see me behind him. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's a, he's a giant fuck to begin with, but then when you throw an extra hundred pounds on top yeah. of that, oh. Bollock Bollock Bollic look like a retired tight end or an offensive lineman in college because they yeah. already fat. right right. But that like that yeah. like that that out of shape fat like right. he's not fat fat, but he's like yo dude, you an athlete. Why the hell I can't see your waistline, bro? That's Bollock. <laughs> like Bollock, Bollock is sick. Me and Bollock the same height. So you like 6'3, six, 6'4. Six, yeah. You ain't supposed at 6'3, six, 6'4, six, you are not supposed to be no more than about 230 pounds. Now I'm gonna put that in perspective for you. Mike Tyson was 218 at his pinnacle. And he was what, five, what's five, Mike? 5'10, 5'10, 5'10, 5'10, yeah. Athlete shit, right? Mike was swole up, cool. Gary Payton was 6'4", 180 his whole career. That's our height. So now you got 6'4", 180. You got 5'10", heavyweight boxer, 218. Balik, I'm looking into the camera right now, Balik. They can't see it yet. They'll see it when they put this video out. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself, boy. <laughs> Well, if you had to take a conservative guess about how much that motherfucker weighs right now, what would you say? LeBron, 281. Like, wow. 281, yo. 281. Wow. I 281. really feel like I, I really feel like he's at least 300 pounds right now. No, stop. Bollock ain't 300 I, pounds. No. I really feel like, yo, I'm telling you. Okay. He, not only is he 6'4", he's big. He's a big dude to begin with. Hold up. Like yeah. wait, wait. I, he was, before I started really ragging him for being fat, he was two seventy, okay. and now he's took the brakes off. Do his cheeks look like he's smiling when he's not smiling? His he you can't tell because he's got fucking two years of beard growth on there at right. all time. You can't can, even look him. Can you see his under chin under his under his beard? Yeah, you can. You can see it. That's not good. Yo, um, yo his, his arms weigh a lot too. 
You know what I'm saying? He's he's got very long arms. He's a very fat man. He, he got the Oprah arms. Yeah, he got Oprah arms. You know what I'm saying? He, <laughs> oh my God. His arms look like his arms look like upside down drumsticks. That's not good, yo. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> Yeah, he he's pretty obese right now. I'd say. I mean, it's pretty it's a pretty sad day when when you're fatter than me, Sean. You gotta do something about your weight. And you and you're five years older than me with your old ass. Come hey, on, man. Hey, bollocks. Hey, bollocks. <laughs> Bullocks, <laughs> bullocks, put the beer. Yo, 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 fast. Yo, yo, hold on. In the more, in the immortal words of my cousin, yo, bollock, put that bottle. Down. <laughs> get like, get off that bottle. bottle. Get off that bottle. <laughs> get off that bottle. Get off that bottle. I don't. I mean, uh, I don't even think it's. I don't think it's the bottle. I think it's the the fork. Got to put that fork down. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, so anyway, I, I saw hey. something funny today. Had me cracking, yeah. had me cracking up. You know what I'm saying? It, it said, uh, "In this day and age, if you have an ugly face but you got pretty eyes, this is your time to shine." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know I'm <laughs> fucked. <laughs> wait, wait, you know, but why? Why is that? Why is that? Why all, time to because shine? Because we all have masks on. So you got an ugly face, but you just got pretty eyes. You know, you go out there and do your numbers now. You know what I'm saying? I mean. <laughs> Go ahead, my fault, Phil. What up? No, no, no. I'm just thinking of all the times Fats told me my eyes was too close together. So uh, I'm, wow. I'm just okay. asked that in this situation. Why, listen, why would you wait, that, first, of, first of all, let's dispel, let's dispel this rumor right now that I insult my friends. I do not insult my friends. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Yo, <laughs> God, time out. It. Time out. Yo. Time out. Are we supposed to be honest on this podcast? Because I'll Yo. be quiet right now if we are. Yo, Slim. When I met this motherfucker, this is 13, going on 14 years ago. Oh, man. When, when Fats was Fats, you're talking 400 pounder or better. 418. This motherfucker yo, whoa, used to. Whoa, whoa. Hey, yo. This motherfucker would sit here. Now, I was at this time, I was probably about 220. I'm, I'm about six feet tall. So I was a little fat, but he would sit there at 400 and fucking 20 pounds, 200 pounds heavier than me. And talk about how fat my fucking face was, and I'm sitting there. You know, I'm like, you know, you know why? You know why though, right? And he'll he'll co-sign this. I've been telling him. All right, so me and Fats met in high school, like height, like back in the '90s. I've been telling him since the '90s, you are not a real fat guy. Okay, <laughs> now let me explain. It, all right, Fats at his at, at his at his heaviest and at my lightest. We probably had a good 200 plus pounds like separating us. You know, this motherfucker back in high school used to beat me in, in foot races. Yeah, but he got a, the skinny bottom half. He, he, got Larry, he got Larry Johnson calves. You ever seen this motherfucker's calves? <laughs> Yo, they've been carrying this around for, for forever. Time, right? He could dunk. <laughs> His bitch ass could probably dunk. He, he won't tell you, but he could probably dunk. <laughs> <laughs> we, used to be, we used to be running. We used to be running for our lives from deceps back in high school. And I swear to God, I used to turn around like, damn, they got fat. And they turn back around to see him in front of us. <laughs> this motherfucker. This motherfucker. Hey, hey, yo. That's, that, I used to, that's sporty fat. Hey, yo. Word. I, used to, I used to be like, yo, I used to be calling. I used to, like, well, you know, you know how it is. Son. You, I, saying it to Slim is like preaching to the choir. Put it this way. Anybody that's close to me, anybody out there watching this, if you're close to me, then you are the brunt of all my jokes. You understand what I'm saying? Fact. The more Fact. the more Fact. I care for you, that's the harder I come for you. If you find yourself Fact. in a situation where I never insult you, I really don't like you. You know what I'm saying? I'm dead <laughs> ass. If I never say anything bad about you or come for you in any way, I I have wow. no use for you. Yo, yo, Phil, yo, Phil, what kind of Punk ass Jedi mind trick that he just tried to throw I'm on the people right ass. there. If I, I don't, if I don't insult you, that means I don't really like you. So if I insult you, you should appreciate it because you know what that means. Cool. <laughs> this is this is how he has to reason with himself to deal with what a cocksucker he was. I, but, <laughs> this I mean, is, is this how you sleep at night, but, facts? But, but <laughs> both of y'all can both of y'all can attest. In my old age, I've slowed down quite a bit. You know what I'm saying? You definitely have. You de I give you. I, that. I, I, he used to. He used to be ruthless. <laughs> ruthless. Yo, son. Ruthless. It used to be to the point where, like, if people would say stuff about, like, 
uh, obviously, it's so funny because, you know, obviously looking at my partners, looking at his complexion, you know, obviously the, the jokes that he's always heard were light skin jokes. Light, light skin, high yellow, all that nonsense. Right. So, and, and, and vice versa, the, the stuff that my man would hear was what? He fat, fat jokes. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> and people, people don't realize like me and him. Yo, like like Swave is another one. You wear glasses. You know people trying to clown. And Swave, the reason why I bring Swave up, because Swave is like us. Do not step into a, a, a contest of matching the wits or the dozens or snapping. You're going to lose that because you're going to say he's fat, I'm light, or Swave got glasses, and then that's it. Yeah, once you show your, once <laughs> and, you show your hand uh, on that situation, it's over. <laughs> and that's the thing. It's like... Shout out to Swave Seven. That's my boy. That's my man's in them. Shout out to them. My man's you know saying and and whole whole homies, whole homies. team hobby whole whole team homies. Shout out to them. At the end of the day, bringing it to, bringing it to Swave, it's like yo. A lot of people, especially like when me and Slim was together, a lot of people would be afraid to take that on because that was just like serving volley all day, but. I've it's been many a many a time Swave was like, yo, I'm up for the challenge. I'm taking both of y'all on. What's up? Nah, nah, Sw Swave, Swave never showed any fear <laughs> when it came to the to the the, the, the dozens combat. You know what I'm saying? Mother. I mean, it's the it's put it this way. I don't even know how these young kids do it. I don't know if they if because because they were they wild emo now, you know what I'm saying? So I don't even know if they they go in the way we used to go in. You know what I'm saying? Like nah. I've seen them. Uh, they 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 do about fifteen minutes, and then it's a bunch of suck my dick, suck my uh, dick, and then somebody gets shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That's, that's what I'm saying. Like these kids is wild emo, man. Like you back in the days, man. You you yo, listen. I, I'm yeah. I'm, yeah I'm, he said back in I'm the days. So I'm what? The, so what? I'm about to. I'm about to. I'm, <laughs> yo, I'm about to. I'm about to put my man on on, on blast real quick. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I, yo, don't say no names. I ain't gonna say man. no, I ain't gonna say no names. Protect the innocent. But all I'm gonna say is it was like 10 of us on the train, and we snapped on this nigga from like all the way uptown to like back downtown to Brooklyn. We I'm talking about I'm right. talking about endless just just <laughs> dogging this dude. I'm talking about to the point where you had other people on the train laughing that didn't know us. Saying Oh, don't they had the old ladies like, oh, don't say that. That's not nice. Yo, oh, leave him alone. I'm talking about it. Yo, we, oh, was, man, we was, we it's, was, it's all right, baby. It's we all was, right, baby. We, they, 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 word. Right. And you know, at that point, like at this point, this is why I say these kids are wild emotional because what did that do? That didn't make them go home and say, you know, I want to kill myself. I want to slit my wrist because I was being bullied and being shamed. It was like, yo. It made, it made it made him come back and snap on the the dudes that he got snapped on exactly. by. Exactly, it made day. him come back with a vengeance. You know what I'm saying? And and then and then he grew up to be a fat skinny dude that rapped with a fat dude <laughs> and went on tour <laughs> around the world. But that's, but that's that's what I'm saying. It's like, what are you going to do? Are you going to now like, oh my god? Because you know now this whole thing about. They want to kill they self and everything. That's real. Like these kids are really like, oh, they bullied me in school and I can't take it no more. And I want, and you know, it's like, where's all of this coming from? We, I got bullied. The internet. I got bullied. I got bullied. I got beat up. I got chased. Got got shit thrown Word. at. Got stomped Word. out. A bunch of shit Word. happened. And you and where you at? You here, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's crazy. Yep. It's crazy. Yep. It's crazy, man. Yep. I mean. Oh, all the people that did all that bullshit, we got y'all back. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know, again, uh, I was, I was, I was <laughs> talking this week. I was talking this week to somebody about, um, like, about like high school kids, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, I was, I, I was being asked because I'm like raising a teenage girl. When is it? Uh, when is it? a good time to allow your daughter to start dating? Never. Continue. She's like 30, 37, 38. Yeah, but see, this is what I'm saying. Like, it's so it's so it's funny that. because of the, 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 the dichotomy between men and women. It's like women always on some women's, like women's empowerment. Oh, you can't be like that and everything else like this and that. And you got to be. But then if they have a son 
and their son is out there doing something, they want to be like like this like this dude is a baby. You know what I'm saying? All right. He come he can come in and be like your ma just killed everybody in the lobby. Oh, baby, it's all right, baby. Um, listen, <laughs> don't do that again, all right? Um, don't do that again. And don't think you're going to bring your ass here if you do that. Don't kill no more lobbies. But, I, you know, like, at the end of the day, my whole thing is like, yo, I feel like it doesn't matter how old your daughter is. As a man, you're not going to like anybody that she brings to you. Period. End of story. Because at the end of the day, <laughs> that's our guilty conscience for knowing how we was at that time. You know what I'm saying? I think, honestly, I think shit is a little bit different now, though. Because if you think about, I mean, I'm on the tail end of, of uh, you know, the same kind of shit y'all was doing. Like, like we, I didn't have this technology that these kids have. I know I'm a little younger than you, but we lived the same shit right. growing up right. as far as the shit we got into. Like, but think about when you was 15, 16 years old. You was chasing pussy around and smoking right. blunts and exactly. drinking. Exactly. Like, they don't really do that shit as much. Like, you know, they, 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 it's, it's all on the fucking internet. I look at my son. He's 13. When I was 13, the fucking debauchery I was out doing. Yeah, but this shit. is what the yeah. problem is with these. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I, may, may, may I interject? Go ahead. Do your, do your sure. numbers. Let me say this. Ba- all right, Phil. The difference between then and now is we had to go out like like it's like going to get a job you had to go pound the pavement you had to get out there and meet <laughs> your friends you right had, so you had to be out in general they, they lazy right now they lazy right now because you know between tinder and and ig and all these other fucking and tiktok and all this shit that's supposed to be for entertainment turns into dating i know tinder's a dating site but all this other shit like ig is damn near x-rated you know what i'm saying these kids, yeah, they could go online and see all the stuff that we had to sneak. We had to wake up at two in the morning and go find the hidden stash of porno and go put it on the VCR in the living room when everybody was sleeping. They could just go on their phone. Yo, in the, the first time you ever, the yeah. first time you ever watched Eddie Murphy Raw, how low was the TV so nobody could hear you watching it? Boy, how about how about this? The first time I watched Eddie Murphy Raw was I was I was on the other side of a door hiding, listening to the grownups but listen, that, watch that's, that's, shit. that's my point. You know that's my point. But the thing about it is with the, the the problem that I have right now is to expound on what you were saying, Slim. Because we have all of this this online virtual world, yo, these kids are not even sneaking to do nothing. When they when they like engaging in sex, they wanna they want to film it and upload it. You know what I'm saying? That's like a that's like a culture. And the thing about it, it was so scary is like you try to explain it like little girls. Like, yo, you know, the internet is forever. The moment that you get your life together and everything, people can revert back to stupidness that you get right. involved in. Don't ever don't ever run for president. All your bullshit. Exactly. Out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it's it, that's the scary part of everything. Is like, you know, um, like I always like I always say I heard like Outside for us was a destination. Like, I, 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 I you, yeah, you worked. You, it was a mission goal to get outside. outside. You know what I'm out, saying? Not, not right. to go nowhere, just to get outside. Just to get outside. Just to, just the freedom and and have the the options of what happened to you when you out. Son, how many times you was in the crib uptown? On, on, on you, I ain't gonna say the block, but you know what yeah, I'm talking about. In yeah. the X, you was uptown yeah. and just sitting on your steps, a champion night occurred because you was just outside and happened to be out the right time when when niggas drove through or walked through yo son da, da, right. da. and how many times yeah yo. Many... yo 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 oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. what happened fat you got oh, scared nah, you thought the shit yeah, went nah, away I, I, I you... <laughs> nah but how many times just in our time was it yo a champion night was formed because we was outside and then you get a call yo we over here doing this yo meet us over here boom boom bow and then yo phil how many times you just called your man up he called his man up somebody else called and we just and you met up with no fucking idea what you're gonna do and had the best night of your life every fucking night i didn't know you when you got up you went outside and you just went everywhere that anybody would be until you fucking rounded up the whole troops. So you round up the whole troops, exactly. <laughs> Next thing you know, you got, a, you got a caravan of 10. You got like 50 motherfuckers with you. And where we going? To the city. Word. 
Word. Bro, this, this this shit was so deep for us back then that we hopped on a plane and went to fucking Miami without talking to anybody and ran into our friends. Boom. Like, because we was just outside. Everybody wanted to be out. This club was popping, so we was at that club. That was it. Like, it didn't matter. You were just out of the fucking crib. Now it's like, that's, I guess all these destinations are replaced by apps. Like, ah, I'm on Snapchat. Ah, I'm on Instagram. Ah, TikTok. We like, gotta go. That's that's because, go. It's because you don't have to you don't have to delve in reality to be somebody on them right. shits. Right. Like you could fucking hook your you could hook your background up, have your angle right, have the lighting right, and oh you popping now. What? Yo, remember you remember right. when you remember when video games was a rainy day thing? When that was just a thing where like, yo, if I can't be outside, this is what I'm gonna do when I'm inside. Right. As long right. as the yeah. sun was yeah. out and it was a beautiful day, I'm in the streets, Holmes. That's it. That's the end of it. Like, I even tell I tell my daughter now, I was like, yo, you know why I used to do all my chores real quick? Because yeah. I didn't want to have no issues about getting out the door. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Yo, let me get up, do what I got to right. do, and I'm out the door. Summertime come, we was in the street from, from the morning to the night. And that was that. You know, you know what I'm saying? And these kids now, like... They so jacked in because that's their whole life was that. Me and Slim was just talking about, remember when people used to call your house and it was just like, yo, he's not home. That's He not here. He ain't here. He's not home. You had to be family. You had to be family to get a, oh, you know where he went? Um, you know how long he, he going to be back? So like, if you was a family, you was getting hung up on, he not here. Click. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But like before... You would you had so much like oh you can call a person on their cell phone and everything else like that like before cell phones before us having all kind of oh I'm in your DMs and doing all of this other stuff email and all this yo once I was out if you didn't catch me before I left you got to wait until I come back wait till I come back and hope I'm coming to see you while I'm out listen man bro we used to have pages you remember the yeah pages? yeah yeah <laughs> and, and we would beep each other like from the train or wherever on a payphone. 7-Eleven. Yeah. That meant go to 7-Eleven. <laughs> we, all, we all knew which one to go to. Everybody would go, yeah. and it would just be like, boom, that's it. Oh, that's where they are. You know what I'm saying? Yo, like, 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 right I'm, like, it's so crazy. You know what's so crazy? We just talked about the Gen X thing. Yo, Slim. Remember remember yeah. when no, remember when you sometimes your phone didn't even have call waiting and <laughs> busy signals? Remember that? <laughs> Yeah. Remember when you had to pay for call waiting? Not, that's what I'm saying. Like, these, like, like. That's why it's like it's so funny when when I say like people look at me like, oh, you're not that old. But I say, well, in my old age, is because things have changed around so much and the culture has changed so much that when you look at kids now and everything else like that, the funniest part is you can get them something really nice and do really nice things for them. Like Phil was like beefing all the day. Remember the last? What was the last or the two episodes ago when you were talking about how you brought your son to Jay's and he dragged his foot up the steps, right? Oh my <laughs> God, we'd have to fight yeah. behind that. But go ahead. But the thing about it is, back in 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 my youth, even though like my parents used to keep me fresh back then, but the fact of the matter is, when they bought me something good, I cherished it and I tried to make sure, yo. We come from the era of when you wiped your sneakers off when you came in the, in the crib, especially because, you know, you had your white joints. You don't want to have more, no scuffs well, and all that. You know what I'm saying? But hold up. Hold up. Due to COVID, we back in that era now. <laughs> <laughs> Word. Facts. We back in facts, that era now. Right facts, now. facts, facts, facts. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, you know, basically, you know, I guess we had more of an appreciation for things because... Like, we weren't just handed things. You had to work for what you did. You know what I'm saying? You had to actually either A, bring in good grades, or you had to do your chores. Your parents actually charged you with more stuff. Now, these kids don't even live in the same room with you. Like, we was just talking about about Slim's daughter. Like, she's, like, jacked in the system now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she a preteen. She a preteen. She's getting to know herself. She's getting to know the world. She's been watching her parents. She's been watching her older brother. Right. She has she has no time to get to know an individual right now. <laughs> it's too much. It's too much stimuli going on. She don't want to know. She don't want to know you right now. She want to know your profile. Right. How many followers you right. got? 
You know, like you ever went viral before? Like that's the shit. That's the stuff she wants to know. Right. She tell like she tells her friends, "Oh my my, you know my dad my dad is 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 almost famous. Like I'm almost famous or, at school. Yeah. My dad's almost famous." And they ask her why, and she says, "Oh, because one of his videos on YouTube almost got a million vi- million views. Oh, he is almost famous. What? <laughs> Excuse you. I done been to like." 18 countries outside the U.S. performing. What you talking about? Almost famous, but to them, it's the it's a va- you know what's you know real talk. You know what's different between the Gen X and millennials? It's the value system. Right. It's it's the value system. Right. What what we used to place value on, they do, but they place it in different places, a different different a variance. It's a, it's just different. You know what I'm saying what we what we saw as important, they don't see as important anymore. Well, think about the hip hop thing. Think about the hip hop thing, and in in our in our generation, from from us to Phil, from us to where Phil is, that's that's the Gen X. Right. So in our generation, when we heard a new a new MC, we wanted to know, yo, like like how like how he spit like 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 like. Like what's his content? Like like how's his bars? He got his bars up. We want to know how lyrical this dude is. Yo, Phil, remember when um, when a new rapper came out and the first thing you wanted to know was, yo, did he used to battle? Right, right, right. Like there was a time yeah. when we said that. Right. He ever yeah. he ever battled before? But then, like that's the time we said but that. But then after us, after us, the generation after us, their big thing was, well, how many records he sold. What's the generation after us? No, M? Y, Y. It's X and then Y. Yeah, but it's uh, technically- No, no, no. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, when I say M, I mean as in literally M and M. Oh, like, is that, yeah, like, yeah, out, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah. Like M and, and um, like, yeah, that whole, like, 2000, the, the, the 2000 era. The early 2000s. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, so then you, what are you considering your generation? Our generation is 88 to 93. Say, okay, so think, notable think, artists. Think EPMD to Wu Tang. That's our yeah. generation. All right, so that's all the shit I came up on, even earlier. That's why than I said. That. That's Bad why I said age. you were in. You at the you, end. You at, yeah, you, you at, at the, the end, end of, of us. You at the end of us. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's not. It's not my fault. Y'all old as shit. Look, <laughs> yeah, look, I, yeah, look, I, look, <laughs> look, look, yo, we not, y'all we not, older we than hip hop. We not gonna do that. Oh, you got a, you got a fifty cent jizzard? This <laughs> <laughs> no, I just I tell I say that shit to Sean every day. But, uh, but I mean, but yeah, not. But when that whole shit came out with like Eminem and and. Uh, when when DMX and Nelly, I love DMX, but when Nelly was popping and all that shit, I looked at that X, shit like what? XM and Nelly. I'll say that's the that's the generation right after our generation. Right. Yeah, but that's when shit really started to to be commercially yeah, viable really on came. a whole other level. Like yeah, that's when the money yeah. came. Look, look, look what M M did. Look what Nelly as far as record sales. Look what M did. Look what Nelly did. Fucking X had two. Number one albums in the same calendar year, like they was doing it, doing it. But that, but that's when the value, the value system changed to now. Oh well, how many records he sold? You know what I'm saying? Like, but who did that? Did we do that, or was that was that imposed on us? Like this is what's important. Definitely imposed on us. When you had people checking sound scan that had no business checking sound scan. Right. You remember, right. remember how people used to talk about? Oh, he scanned this. Like motherfucker, you work at the corner store. Like you talking about sound scan shit. Heard up. But that, <laughs> that, that, that's what I'm saying. Like the whole value system started to deteriorate. It started to deteriorate. Like yo, it's so crazy because who was that? Yo, Phil, was I having that conversation with you? What about about, what? about the 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 moment that that hip hop started to decline in, on the East Coast? I mean, we probably could have had that conversation. <laughs> but anyway. But anyway, um, the 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 thing is, after it went after it went from the from the how much did he how much did he sell, then it went into the whole well, how many cars he got, how many how many you know what I'm saying, how much money do we have, and everything else like that. And we we're talking right. about new artists that haven't even made a dime in hip hop yet. They want to know right. the imagery. 
then it went then it went into the whole gang the whole gang culture thing the whole gang structure thing now who are you aligned with what nation is he coming from you understand what i'm saying now it's gotten to the point yeah. now it's gotten to the point where slim just said well how many followers they have how many you know what i'm saying like like how big is their profile on on instagram how big is their profile on 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 youtube how many views do they have do they have their views up there's all there's always something around that um makes people say that makes people um department departmentalize shit like all right i'm this he's that that was this this look like it's gonna be that it's always something it's always something and Just and a different measure of status yeah what is it you know yep. what i'm saying yeah but that that that's so it's so crazy because that what we just that what we just discussed about just the the the, the microcosm of hip-hop is if you blow it up into generational things you'll find that in every facet of life how it how it goes mm. you know what i'm saying you know mm. like in this in this day and age you remember when we were growing up a mercedes benz was like the best the biggest and best thing you could ever have right mm-hmm. yo mm-hmm. it's to the point with these kids now mercedes is just a car you know what I'm saying? It's just a regular car. Yeah, you got a yeah. Benz. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. You and like Mercedes is the low rung of foreigns yeah. right now. That sounds crazy, <laughs> yeah. right? Like, yo, it's it's really nothing. Like, you know what I mean? Yo, my man in high school had a brand new Camry, and this motherfucker got pussy off that for a whole summer. A, a Camry, <laughs> like, a Camry, that's a, a, a Camry. Nigga, four, four wheels got you some trim back in the day. Exactly. Joe. He had a box in that shit and tents and bitches couldn't wait to suck some dicks exactly. behind that exactly. glass. Exactly. You know, back, back in the days, all you had to have was a car with no dents and, and some nice shiny chrome rims on them. You know what I'm saying? And you was good money, man. You was good money. Bro, you talking about a like a '96 Camry, yeah, right? Yeah, but here. what what I'm, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. well, right now, <laughs> just brand right new. now, you pull up in a Benz, and they're looking at you like, yeah, it's just a Benz, though. Like, where you ain't you ain't got no yeah. vented door. You know what I'm saying? Like an vented door. Yo, Phil, yo, Philly, <laughs> Phil. What what was your first car? My first car was a 1985 Mustang. Hey, uh, what Whoa. what you what you had? LX or GT? Nah, it was a uh, six cylinder. It was no crazy oh. shit. My my fucking when I I bought, I used to go. My father used to own a body shop, and we used to go to these auctions. And uh, I wanted to get some wild, crazy fucking five point oh. And he's like, "You will kill yourself, motherfucker! I'm not Thanks. letting you buy that." <laughs> so I settled on the six cylinder. I put the pony rims on it. You remember the the, the pony uh, <laughs> five star GT rims? I put them joints on it. It looked official, you know what I'm saying? It looked cool for for my first yo, shit. But yo, then tell Slim about your 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 Wanta Parkway situation. Oh, uh, that was that was uh that was post fucking uh Fast and the Furious. I had a Honda Del Sol with a B eighteen uh uh the twin overhead turbo fucking joint in it. Classic, it was a mid- classic Long Island ro- highway shit. Okay. Uh, it was a fucking, it was basically the B18 engine was the, was the, the Honda Odyssey engine mm-hmm. in a fucking Del Sol, which is a two seater. And I had that shit fucking blown out with exhaust, turbo, everything. And I was getting on uh, the Wantor Parkway North from the Southern state. And I don't know if you ever done that before. But yeah, yeah, big, yeah, yeah. Like a crazy ramp that goes around and I was cooking, bro. And I came around that shit and the shit just started spinning. Just spinning out of control. I must have done about four or five fucking 360s in the in the, in the, uh, on the highway with traffic coming. Finally, I just landed the wrong way. It didn't flip over. It just spun. And I'm I'm facing the wrong way in traffic. I just fucking I just dropped it in first gear. Yo, yeah, bro, that out. that's a rite of passage for for young men in New York City <laughs> to almost kill themselves. Yo, fat. Can, can can I tell him the story Yo, when we had Timmy Tim Mac? <laughs> nah, tell that tell that you slip. We gotta make we got we gotta make room for two. Tell okay, okay. Tell that and then tell the story of the intrepid. Coming over to Brooklyn with your homeboy driving. Um, who? Sleepless? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Fast gonna have people. You gonna have people hitting my 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 inbox like, yo, 
Stop talking about me, son. <laughs> all right, so I right, so Phil, our first, all right, my first car I own was due to your your your, your co-host right there. This dude, like we was, we always had, we had our licenses since like 15, 16. So I used to steal my grandmother's car, rest in peace, granny. I used to steal her car all the time. Right. Go from Brooklyn to Bronx, go to Brooklyn, make a pickup in Harlem, and then make a pickup in the Bronx, and we used to just ride around her shit all night. But when I never forget, we had just got our taxes, and this nigga calls me up, yo, slip. Nigga said, yo, I just bought uh, what, what you you bought the um wait wait you bought the um you bought an act you bought an eighty eight Acura yeah, right eighty eight Acura Legend. But like the out, but it was it was fully loaded though. Shit was fully yeah. loaded. This motherfucker buys a whip. Yo, yo, Slim. Yo, I went to the spot of town. Yo, nigga said he got another one. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. yo, boy, Phil. I literally had just cashed my income tax. This motherfucker calls me. So you know, typical young man shit. I could pay my rent, pay some bills, save some money. No best friend calls me to go buy a car. Let's do it. Impulse. He said, yo, son, you got a um, you got a Mazda 929, son. The shit is right. You need to get up here right now before they somebody somebody buy it, before they sell it. Nigga, I hop, I like a dumbass. I hop on a fucking train. <laughs> get up there with the money in hand, cash in hand. We buy these whips. So now we get these whips. When I tell you, Phil, you know what was going on in New York City in 1988, right? These were yeah. Drug dealer cars. <laughs> yeah. You know, didn't you tell me you found the stash bot like like six months yeah. after you bought the shit or the something? Stash like box that? in the car and shit. You know what I'm yo, yo, it, it was these were drug dealer whips. All right, so all right, so fast forward. We driving. I'm I'ma skip the I'ma skip the, the first story. I'm gonna go straight to the intrepid yeah, story. Yeah. So <laughs> me and him is in our whips. Our our friend that we used to rock with, he was in his whip. He's a square. He wasn't driving. Me and Fash used to go down. We used to run red lights, go down the wrong way or one ways. We used to cut. We used to do stupid shit. Drive on the fucking sidewalk to beat a nigga when we racing just to get to his house first. Just stupid shit. So me and him, you, 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 what, what happened? We you, on, bro? you familiar with behavior like that, right, Phil? <laughs> like you know, what I'm saying? of course, of course, of course. So we uptown. We um we we near like the Bronx River Parkway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what's the other shit? Nah, um, what's actually, the, the Bronx actually, River? we was coming off. We was coming off this. Yo, Phil, you know, you know when the Sheridan goes into the Bruckner, and it's not, and that's yeah, that. But you know, yeah. that's not that's not a curve. That's like a right turn. You know what I'm saying? It's like, no, a, that, it's, like it's like a 97 degree angle, some wild that's, that's shit. Dead end. <laughs> what are you talking? It's just like a right turn. You know what I'm saying? When you go down, like when you go from the Sheridan and you go down and you got to make the turn, that's just like a right turn. It's not like a curve, man. It's like if you're going down there too fast, it's a wrap for you. But anyway, go ahead, son. So, all right. So, mind you, now, Phil, it's three cars. Now, mind you, there's been a whole bunch of alcohol consumption, a whole bunch of you pussy and you a faggot, all types of wild, just inflammatory shit going on all night. I, I don't even know where the hell we came from, but we was just on the highway. When I say boogieing, first of all, we 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 lost the third car because Fast is in front, I'm behind him, and it's a third car following us. So mind you now, I'm fucking with the car behind us because every time Fats make a turn, I'm putting on the opposite blinker. <laughs> so the idiot behind us, <laughs> the idiot behind us, instead of following the way the car go, this asshole, I'm looking at him in the damn rear view. He's making like, if I'm, if, I'm, if I'm making a fake right, I'll put the right blinker on and make the left. <laughs> Nigga, follow the fucking car. What you doing? <laughs> this motherfucker, you see him in the rear view, make a fake right and then uh, make the left. I did that to him about 10 times. He got pissed off. I know he did. Fuck him. So anyway, <laughs> we, <laughs> we get to the highway entrance. I don't remember exactly what happened, because but Fats did something that set me off. And I was like, a word? All I know is he hit the highway first. And this is literally like a day or two before I, I, I discovered that my Mazda 929 had a luxury and a sport button. 
I hit the sport button and that bitch dropped and turned into a race car. So son, I hadn't broke out the sport button on fast. So now mind you, he had an act. He had an act legend. That's just the faster whip. So we get on the highway, fast doing his numbers. He burning. He as he would say, he's burning the rubble off my tires. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I, I'll be like, yo, son, keep fucking around. I'm going to blow your fenders off, okay? I'm going to blow your fenders <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, he hadn't graduated to burn yeah, the nigga yeah, rubbers yeah, off his yeah, tires. Keep fucking around. I'm going to blow your fenders off. Go ahead. So we talking about that wild shit. So we go on the highway, and he doing his numbers. Cool. <laughs> yo, put it like this. I got, I, got, I got so upset because of what he was doing, I decided to say, fuck life. And fuck the laws of physics. I hit my sport button, zip, 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 and I passed him. Missed the exit. We supposed to get off, but fuck that because I passed him, and that's all I counted. I beat his ass. It worked. <laughs> yeah, but the niggas in the back seat. He was like, "Yo, son, when you pass me, all I see was the niggas in the back seat holding on to real life because they like, oh shit, oh, yo, yo, Phil, I was doing. I'm talking about." Fast lane to exit lane, back to fast. Like, I was going crazy. <laughs> I was going crazy on the highway. Yo, put it this way. Yeah. That was one of those times where, like, you see yeah. where, like, these kids be, like, killing themselves. Like, he was going that, like, we was well over 100 miles an hour. Like, we was, we were wow. Yeah, easy, we easy. Over 100 miles an hour. And that's why it's so funny because my wife always be trying to play me talking about I drive slow now. And I'm like, yo, at a, pro- at she had no at idea. a point in my life, I used to live my life at 100 miles an hour. You know what I'm saying? So it's like now I don't have nothing yeah. else to prove, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, fat. <laughs> what's the, what's that? What's that? What's that stretch of road in Germany where there's no Autobahn. speed limit that we was Autobahn. on? Autobahn. Autobahn. Yo, the yo, Phil. We didn't drive, but we was in Germany, and Fats had that look in his eyes, like, yo, Slim. Yo, I'm about to ask this nigga. Let me get the girl for like ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man. To show ass down, nigga, for you killers. Hey, yo, <laughs> he had that look though. He wanted it. I could tell he wanted it though. Yo, man. Yo, I'm telling you, yo, 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 Phil, driving on that, like just seeing people just balls to the wall, finding out exactly what your whip can do. It's like, come on, that's the most exhilarating <laughs> feeling ever. Like you have no, like you have no, like total, like no fear of any cops coming to light you up or anything. It's like yo, yo. First, when you the it, it's 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 really like a drug. I remember the first time you hit ninety on a speedometer. Yo, real talk. You hit ninety and you look around. You be like, ain't nobody coming. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me see how far I can push this. You hit ninety five. The fa- the the fat the fastest I ever think I hit. I want to say a buck ten. I think I did a buck ten and ten pack. Right. right. The cream, the, the cream pathy. I think I did a buck ten. Where I'm talking, not just oh you hit it. Like nah, I'm doing a buck ten for like four exits on the highway. I'm going. Phil, right. what, what what what's the most you ever pushed it to? Shit, yo, don't get me started. I almost lost my fucking license. You remember when I had that yo. CTS? Oh, when that first came out, yeah, bro. Yeah. I got, I got. They wrote the ticket for like twenty miles per hour less than I was doing. I was doing like a buck twenty something, Ooh. and he's. On the fucking on the clear view, bro. Uh, that was hey, the biggest one of the biggest hey, mistakes hey, in my yo. life. <laughs> when he told me when he came to work and told me about what happened, I was looking at you know, of course. Well, I don't really insult my friends, right? So, on, at that time, I right. called, I called this dude all kind of like a garden variety of of, of 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 names, and then I was like, "Yo, the clear view is the most policed highway in New York. Why would you?" That. Yo, the the, the clear view, the clear, the clear view is that shit that you be telling me to be careful when I come over to Whitestone, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, like yo, it's like three cops. On, Phil, it's like bucket. three cops on each side. Because, yo, because it ain't like I didn't know either. I took that shit every day. It's a straight shot from over the bridge, and you go straight down the fucking clear view to get on to. You know, I would get off. Well, up first there of all, Queens. you Long Island motherfuckers are crazy. <laughs> that's one. You first, okay, so. Anybody listening that's not in the five boroughs, not in Long Island, not in upstate New York, Long, Long, the, the state, the city, New York City is Brooklyn, Manhattan, Queens, the Bronx, Staten Island. Long Island 
is they crazy. It's not it, it's it's suburban as a motherfucker, but they crazy out there. The first time I hung out with that fat bitch Bollock out in fucking um in Huntington Village. We was in Huntington Village. Yo, bro, we went to like no cap. We went to like seven or eight bars, bar hopping like a motherfucker. We got to the last bar. I'm talking about you, yo, Phil. You know how when you so drunk, like your peripheral is just cloudy. You can only see tunnel vision. It's like that drunk. We was fucked up. We get to the last bar. And it's not like we even got to go in the bar. Like, we drunk already. I'm like, I'm looking at Bollock like, why the fuck we even trying to go in another bar? He's like, oh, let's go into that go into that bar. I used to know that bouncer. I used to go to school with that kid. You know where this story is going, right? So oh, yeah. We get there. We get to the joint. Big cock. This motherfucker looked like he had, like, bowling balls in his biceps. Like, one of those dudes, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> Bollock is like, Yo, let's go in this spot. I forget exactly what happened, but dude didn't want to let us in. I don't know if it was because we wasn't dressed right, because it was late. I think it was because it was late. and I, Or it might have been because we was already shit-faced. Dude was like, nah, y'all good, man. Just go home. Here we go. The famous, famous Bollock line. <laughs> Yo, this kid thinks he knows me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'll beat the shit out of this kid if he doesn't stop fucking around with me. <laughs> Now, mind you, anybody that knows Bollock or knows me knows when Bollock get drunk, that's the shit he do. But I'm I'm a peacemaker un- unless I'm like really fucked up. This night, yo, I was off that sauce. So the normal slim were like Bollock chill. <laughs> the 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 drunk slim that night was like, you know that kid? We should fuck him up then. Yo, it was crazy. <laughs> I'll fast forward all the bullshit details of what happened. <laughs> But yeah, that was my first time hanging out in Huntington Village with Bollock. And we got drunk. Yeah. Yo, man. Yeah, how many people got punched in the face that night? Eh? Was actually, actually, that night, nobody got punched in the face, but there was there was so many close calls. It, 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 it was crazy. I said that was actually the last time I hung out with Bollock in Long Island getting drunk. I've been out there with him doing other shit, and we done got drunk in the city before, but I was like, nah, bro. You <laughs> Long Island is like your home planet. You got too much power out here, man. I ain't fucking with you out here, bro. Yo, <laughs> yo, put it this way, man. Again, that's we we got we could dedicate a whole show to talk to talking about <laughs> the drunk ex- escapades of, of of one Sean Diabolic George. You know what I'm saying? But this dude, <laughs> this dude, is is is. <laughs> Slim and Fast is the only one yeah, that yeah, care about me out here. Where were we? <laughs> we were in Boston. We were, we, were even, we were either in Boston or Rhode Island. We were somewhere in the Northeast. All right, so, so this is like this is like we, we on the road. We got a hotel room. Me, me and this dude is about to go to sleep, right? Bollock is having a, a, a meltdown argument. An episode, an episode. That's what we're with, calling with the with the chick he was with at the time, right? So he was he was he was having this knockdown drag out argument. But the thing about it is, Bollock was saucy at the time, and he's going in incredibly. And he's going in, and all we hear, like we like the room is dark. We trying to get ready to go to sleep <laughs> after the show. The room is dark. We trying to settle down. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is after a show, by the way. Tired as we fuck. tired. We want to go to, and we got to get up early in the morning to move on to the next city and everything else. All you hear is, "No one cares about me. You don't care about me. No one cares about me. The only people that care about me are slim and fats." I'm like, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on, yo, Phil. At this moment, now mind you, we under the covers in the bed. <laughs> fats. Now, mind you, he not he banged on our door till we let Burr. him in. <laughs> so me, I mean, we both look like we hear that shit. We both go from under the covers. Fats looked at me. He's like, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about, but I don't love him right now. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, Phil, hold on, Phil, Phil. I look up. I look up. Bollock is in the fucking windowsill, one leg <laughs> hanging outside the window, one leg in the fucking hotel room. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Yo, 
and, and you know, this is the thing. It's like, yo, the thing about it is, it's like, yo, straight up and down, like six o'clock. You know what I'm saying? That's that's my brother for life. But it's like it's so funny, like when when like people don't really, unless you've been, unless you've gone through it, you really don't understand what tour life is all about. Tour life is crazy. Oh you know my man? god, you know man. man! And it's like it's so funny because he was like, "Wow, saucy." And going in, and we just like, yo, bro, we just trying to sleep. When you get up in the morning, when you get up in the morning, you're gonna get in the back of the vehicle. We gotta drive, yo. Like, you know, like Yeah, and, and that's a, that's another dynamic. We were the drivers for tour. Me and Fats were the drivers. So it don't matter what city we flew into, we was driving some states at the time. So he doing all this wild shit. Yo, now mind you. After after Fats say that shit, he still he going. This shit is going on for like half hour. I look at Fats toward the end of it, and I'm like, "Yo, Fats, you think he gonna jump if I tell him get the fuck out of the room?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Malik, you my bro though. Yeah, man. And I actually, you don't, actually, you don't have to worry about him hearing this because he won't listen to it. <laughs> well, good. So I could talk about all the shit that I want to talk about then. He won't have nothing to say about it. No, man, it's, it's, it's so crazy, man, because at the end of the day, man, we have, like, we have gone through so many different, like, so many different funny stories that it's, 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 it's like, it's mind-boggling sometimes. When you look at, like, where everybody is in their life now and we all, like, you know, doing our thing and doing our numbers and everything. When you just look back at certain things, you like, damn, yo. <laughs> Remember when this happened? Remember when that happened? Whenever, you know what I'm saying? And it's crazy. It's crazy. But anyway. Yeah, man. But anyway. anyway. But anyway. Yo, you know what I want to <laughs> ask you? You know what I want to ask you, Slim? Just switching, switching, yeah. switching the 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 uh focus right now. How come? Let me get close to the microphone. How, uh, how come your man Cam can't find a job, son? Yeah. Cam? Cam? Cam who? Newton, son. Cam <laughs> Newton, son. That's oh super. That's what I was. That's what I was. Superman. Yeah, that's what I was trying to ask you earlier. What? what okay. On, let, let me put on a dramatic piano for this. Please, show. please put on a, a, dra- a dramatic piano. I got you. Okay. Why your man can't find so, a job, son? You know what I'm saying. Um, IMO, Slim's opinion. Cam can't find a job because he forgot the most important aspect of being a starting quarterback in the NFL. What's that? Real, realizing that you are a black man, Cam. You're a black man. Black quarterbacks just don't, they don't last long. So the next time you find yourself with an opportunity to be a starting quarterback in the NFL, just remember, you're a black man. Just don't act like it, and you'll keep your job. Thank you very much. And change those stupid ass hats. <laughs> Yo, because you know you, you, your man, famous Jameis, he went over there to play with Drew to play behind Drew Brees. Who, who, who are you talking about? Thirty int, thirty yes, int, yes, thirty int. You know, what I'm saying? thirty <laughs> int, aka as Stephen A. Smith would call him, the defensive player of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So he down there, he down there backing up Drew Brees, but they keep they're like, oh, Cam is still out there, and nobody's touching him. I'm like, yo, nobody. Well, okay, all right, okay, that was that was some entertainment shit. I'm gonna be serious yeah. on some sports fanatic right. shit. Cam, if Cam show, uh, Cam is suffering from the, from the same thing that um Carmelo was suffering right. from. It's obvious y'all have talent. It's obvious that. You can be a difference maker. Cam, Cam has um, Cam has a lot of ego. Melo had a lot of ego. It took Melo what damn near the whole NBA season to lose that right. shit for somebody to pick him up. Soon as he showed that contriteness, right. look what happened. He got. Picked. I'm talking about Melo right, right, right now. Soon as he showed contriteness, he got picked up. Cam right now. Remember, Cam he won MVP that right. year, right? Come on, you. You got to remember too, and I'm I'm, I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna go down a rabbit hole a little bit. When as a as a former MVP and as an African American, they want to see you a little bit uh, broken, defeated. So show it, like show it. That's all you got to do. Let go of that ego. Cam is not working right now because of ego. 
You have to understand. What's my motto, Fats, about the game? What's my no motto, No matter bro? how fixed the rules are, as long as you know the rules, you can play the game. And you will excel right. in it. Cam, Cam right now is making a mistake that a lot of men make. Whether it's right or wrong don't matter. Forget about your ego. Right. Understand and isolate what the rules are. Acknowledge them shits and, and adjust. Do what you got to do. Check your ego. Get in the league. Do what Michael Vick did. Do you, let me ask you a question, Fats and Phil. Do y'all think Cam Newton is better than Michael Vick in his prime? Mm. No. no, in his no, prime, he, he, in his nah, prime, nah, he's not better than Mike. Cam, Cam, Cam's fifteen and one MVP season against uh, Mike Vick in his prime. Who's the quarterback you take? Ah, uh, that's a tough one because I don't know. I, I'd still go with Mike See, Vick. I would still go with Mike you Vick know, myself. You know, the thing about it is, man, Mike, Mike. Vick. But hold up, real quick, so I can make the point. Real quick, you who you would take fast, and then you can make your point. Who Mike you would Vick. take? The, the point of me saying all that is, if Mike Vick can check his ego and play for the Eagles, check his ego and play for the Jets, like do all of this shit, yo, Cam, check your ego, get back in the league and show them you still got talent and then prove your point. Say what you was going to say, Fat. Nah, I was just saying that, again, the, 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 the whole thing of why we even have a Cam Newton is because of Mike Vick. You understand what I'm saying? Like, Oh, oh facts. Shouts to Randall Cunningham. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, the, the 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 type of quarterbacks that we're seeing right now are, like, hybrid. Like, they they upgrades to what Mike Vick was to the league. Remember how Mike Vick got lambasted for being the type of mobile quarterback that he was? Facts. And now that's what everybody looks for. Like, Lamar Jackson is the second coming. You know what I'm saying? Well, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you this. Let me ask both of y'all this. Side note, like a motherfucker, because this is definitely off topic, but it's, it's on this NFL shit. If Mike Vick and Randall Hunt Cunningham, feed, they, if they face the criticisms they did, how come Steve Young and John Elway didn't face those same criticisms? Because they were both known as scrambling quarterbacks. Why? They was, they were why? Right. <laughs> right. Cool. See, that's why, I fuck, that's why I fuck with Phil. That's why I fuck with Phil. Now look. The obvious question. Now look. Now look. Watch the narrative for whenever the seasons begin. Watch the narrative of Pat Mahomes, who's half black, but he's light skinned. Right? He's half black, yeah. right? And Lamar Jackson. Those quarterbacks play the same way. Even though Pat Mahomes has a cannon of an arm, a better arm than Lamar. Lamar has that twitch, that, that fast twitch shit more than him. So they strengths even out their weaknesses, so they pretty much the same QB. Watch the narrative painted by both QBs in the NFL. Right, watch. right. absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Because it's definitely going to be interesting. It's, it's going to be sure. interesting. Well, you know, at the end of the day, the whole point is this dude was one of the like he like what you brought up the stat a fifteen and one season, league MVP, and the man can't find a job. It's crazy. Can't find a you job, know? and you know, and you and you have. Um, certain quarterbacks, you know, I'm we're not going to make it a race thing, but we are going to make it a race thing. Certain quarterbacks that keep getting backup jobs, keep getting opportunities because what? Wow. Yo, they, wow. they're, making, they're making it seem like the Bucks is going to the Super Bowl that Gronk is back, huh? Yeah, um, you see the celebration yeah. there. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it real yeah. with you. Tampa Bay's schedule. What, what was their record last? Year? They're gonna have a week schedule this upcoming yeah. season, right? If they have one, if <laughs> look, look, yeah, if they have one, right? If they have one, but I mean, Tom Brady with the weapons that's already there, plus Gronk, and Dude. you already know Tom Brady is not going to have to learn a new offensive right. system. They will implement what he knows right. already. They got a shot, bro. They got a fucking they, they shot. They got a legitimate fucking no, shot. No, what I'm shot, saying is man. once they made that Gronk deal, they 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 put them in the Super Bowl automatics, huh? Once they made the Gronk deal. And I was like, yo. I mean, Gronk, Gronk is what it is. They got tight ends there already. Right. That's 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 popping. They got um Evans. Evans is a beast. Evans is a problem. That boy is a problem. Right. And that's like, yo, how many? What, they got seven? He got six yeah. rings? Nigga, eight. Brady? But the, you can say whatever you want. The last thing that goes in a legend is his intellect and his right. smarts. 
know what I'm saying? Nah, I ain't worried about none of that with Brady right now. If he got somebody to throw to, which he's got, what, four motherfuckers, five motherfuckers that are on point? What they got? They got fucking... Uh, they got three receivers. They got, Godwin, they got uh, three receivers, three receivers, two tight ends, and Gronk. Yeah, nah. He, I, I think this is going to be an interesting season. Whatever it takes place, if it's this year or next, it's going to yeah, be and dope. Even, and even if they, and even if they had a sucky defense, they're about to be dropping forty four points on everybody anyway. So who cares, you know? But yeah, like think about it. At this point, Kansas City has a horrible defense, but they've been. Killing the past two years. That's because of Mahomes. That's because Mahomo. <laughs> no, pause. I right, yo, we had a, an hour and five minutes. We usually don't like to push it past yeah. that for this technology's sake because it likes to cut us off. But yo. uh I think we gotta wrap this motherfucker yeah, up. So we so we're gonna right. be back, you know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, the prime podcast to all the primates, you know what I'm saying? Welcome Slim aboard. And uh Yo, I'm here. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. We're going to lit it up. You know what I'm saying? And we'll be back real soon. We'll Word be up. back episode 14 real soon. Peace. We out of here. Peace.